All right, so we need to stretch 608. Developing the perfect pizza cheese is as much a science as it is an art. And here at the UW-Madison Sensory Analysis Lab, food scientists are studying ways to create the masterpiece of pizza cheese. At first when the pizza comes out, we'll look at the blister quantity, cohesiveness of mass, um, we'll look at salt and acid flavor, and then any flavors that aren't supposed to be there. The stretching comes from the protein. The milk protein is called the casein. And when you make cheese, it forms sort of a matrix. It forms like a cobweb. And in between the cobweb, you have fat and you have a little bit of sugars and water. The reason we put it in a pizza is because it is a functionality panel on pizza. We want to see how it would perform or how it would act if you took it home and you put it on a pizza in your house. Pizza cheese taste testers, known as panelists, undergo multiple stages of instruction to hone their analysis skills. We went through training on the basic taste sensations where we were kind of anchored by different um, levels of taste on a 15 point scale. Um, so we would know how to rate things when we're tasting them in food products. And then we also just had a lot of experience. We would come in and sit in and watch other people do the panels like this one. And then we would also just you know, start participating slowly. The most rewarding part of this job is working with students. Students come in every day um, curious, willing to work. And they're not afraid of things that aren't pretty at work, meaning some of the cheeses we taste um, are less than desirable. Some of them are very, very pleasant. And I really like the students' fresh attitude, what they bring to the job. As for finding the perfect pizza cheese, it depends on who you ask. One thing I want to make very clear, the perfect pizza cheese is the one that you like. For me, the perfect pizza cheese stretches quite a bit and it has to have a buttery flavor. I just associate buttery with a good pizza. It's not like biting a stick of butter, it's just having that aroma, kind of like movie popcorn. Just a little bit of that, that makes a perfect pizza.